I'm Fred Ogola. I am an expert in prediction analysis. Uh, when I hear people saying that uh, we are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel with COVID-19, I really get worried. In fact, that's why I'm saying why Kenya need to prepare for COVID-19. The reason is that we should be optimistic, but sometimes optimism is not as intelligent as pessimism. I'm going to explain that later. Let's start by looking at the fact that we cannot celebrate too early. Um, those celebrations were meant for Easter celebration. That's why the, the na daily nation for Sunday nation said light at the end of the tunnel. We're not there. We have not even begun uh, COVID-19. So let me give you some statistics that first and foremost, you have to know that on January 6th, the US issued a travel advisory against Wuhan. But there was no single case in the US. Then in January 11th, they issued a travel advisory about China. There was, single, there was still no case. January 17th, CDC, which is in charge of health in the US, came out with emergency, if you like, airport entry checkpoints to check whether people were having cases or not. That one actually January 17th. The first case in the US uh, was in January 21st. Now, the first case in Italy was in January 31st. Spain, January 31st. UK, January 31st. So these are first cases. In Kenya, the first case was in March. Um, in, in March 13th. Now, where is where is um, where is US? US now, if you look at the numbers here, is doing six hundred and seventy-eight thousand and above. Uh, Italy is doing one hundred and sixty-eight thousand and above cases. Um, UK is doing one hundred and eight thousand cases. Um, and of course, USA is very high because of the whole thing. But if you look at the whole thing, you should not be deceived with the issue of population because of the fact that population, you, Italy has like 60 million population close to Kenya. You, um, Spain has like almost 58 million, 48 million uh, people. So we are very close. So don't be deceived by population factors there as well. Population is very clear. So what I'm trying to say is that if on 31st of January, uh, the, there was the first case in Italy, UK, and Spain, and now they are doing those hundreds of thousands, yet in Kenya, we had the first case in March, which means that we are like, Two months behind these countries in terms of the COVID-19 cases. And when Kenyans are seeing these things coming slowly, they are thinking that actually Africans are resistant. We should be very careful. I'm not saying we are not, but I'm saying we should be very careful because statistics in the US are showing that 62% of the people who have died of COVID-19 in, in the US are Hispanics and Black Americans. Of course, that can be explained by the fact that the front officers, the front line officers are mostly Hispanics and Black Americans, but that is showing you Africans are not resistant either. So, what I'm trying to draw to your attention here is that we need to prepare because COVID-19 happens like, behaves like the posho meal we used to use in my village. When my mother used to send me to go and mill maize, to start the machine, it starts very slowly, 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 and when it picks up, the speed is really accelerating. And then in the end, also, it takes long to really 
uh, decelerate and actually stop. This is the same case we are going to see with COVID. So when it picks up, it will be marvelous. We just pray that it does not pick up. And in fact, that's what I'm trying to say. We should be very careful about saying we are seeing the light of turn. We should prepare. Now, pessimism is more intelligent than optimism. What do I mean? Optimist looks like somebody who is sleeping in the bed and inside the mosquito net appears a mosquito. Then they say, ah, let us just see this mosquito will die. Let me tell you what, it may not die or it won't die. But pessimists will see a mosquito in the mosquito net. They'll wake up and kill the mosquito before they can go to bed because they cannot believe that mosquitoes will just die. So in Kenya, we seem to be having like optimists by saying, this COVID will just go, it is not yet started hitting us until it will be very painfully stopping us from uh, actually enjoying our life. So I'm saying we need to prepare. Of course, you can ask me questions about what we need to prepare. We need to prepare our, our healthcare system, expand it, convert Nyayo Stadium, convert any of these uh, free public places where there is no gatherings at all, convert them into places that can be hospital. I know there have been uh, government saying they can convert secondary school, I don't know what, but what is important is not the infrastructure. What is important are the service providers there, PPP, PPE is being provided, and equipment being provided, and supplies being provided. Because if that is not done, we are not prepared. And I would like you to take more a pessimist approach than taking an optimistic approach. And I can also tell you something very interesting about Spain, Italy, Greece, and Portugal. These countries which are hit in Europe, which are the epicenter, they belong to what is so-called pigs. When the global financial crisis hit Europe, Portugal, Italy, Greece, and Spain thought it will just disappear on its own. And that's why they the worst hit. Because the leaders of those countries at that time were more optimists than being pessimists. The German um, um, uh, leader was more pessimist. The French leader was more pessimist. They did something in the economy to reset the economy. These guys did absolutely nothing. So what I'm trying to say is, we need to prepare by being more of expecting the worst but hoping for the best. This should be the best approach for this uh, COVID-19 uh, approach. Thank you very much.